Hello everyone, this is Sattvik and in this video we will be discussing about HTML injection. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. So we have been on the road to 5000 subscribers. So really really thank you for that. And uh, if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to connect to me uh, via some for doubts or etc. like that, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, uh, today as I told you earlier, so we will be discussing about HTML injection. So I'll be linking out this uh, web page from OWASPs. Okay, on the description below, you can do check out from there. So let me go simple. So HTML, as you all know, HTML is like a language. It's not a programming language. It's a web development language. Okay. Uh, so what we try to do is like with the help of HTML, we can create a skeleton for a web devel uh, web web page or a website or you can consider it anything like that okay so as the name suggests so if you take this os command injection we try to inject some os commands for sql commands you try to inject some sql queries and for cross-site scripting we try to inject some scripts but for this html injection we try to inject a few uh, html tags okay like uh, an anchor tag for linking a web page okay or an iframe tag like you can be creative with this stuff okay so uh the added advantage so this is like a client side thing only so it's mostly to target the client side like if you find out this kind of vulnerability on some top domain then you can uh, directly harm that domain or that company but instead what you can do is like you can uh, harm the users okay the clients of that particular application okay and uh, like this is similar to xss so xss in the sense cross-site scripting so html injection and cross-site scripting are like you can try to uh, make them note them similar only so uh, like if you take like if you're hunting the uh, for tar if you are hunting on a target then if you look into the scope sometimes they mention that html injection is not allowed sometimes they leave that okay like uh, as i told you we will be injecting a few html tags right so what we can do like there are some few other tags which are even used to hunt for xss so the best thing you can do here is like once you find this html injection you can try to escalate that to the cross-site scripting okay and stuff like that and same like in xss you'll have something like uh, like stored x stored xss kind of thing like stored html injection as well so what happens is like your html code gets injected uh, like uh, it gets stored in the database okay so that is the thing so that is the point to remember like my first one of the first vulnerability uh, is html injection only and what i did is like uh, like i was unable to run any kind of alerts on that page or like I was unable to escalate that to the cross-site scripting, but I inject, I reported that as HTML injection and uh, like they mentioned that as informative, I don't know for a reason and uh, it is a valid bug only. So like you can have an advantage there. Okay. So like uh, HTML tags in the sense, so if you don't know HTML, like for uh, cross-site scripting or for anything, you need to know HTML. That's an important thing like uh, for bug bounty you need to remember this html like not to remember like you need to have a basic understanding of this html uh, javascript etc like no need for much on css so i'll be linking out this thing as well so this is an easiest tutorial out there on the internet so like very easy you'll find some few examples as well like you can learn that that's pretty simple and easy i'll link this in the description below as well so there are a lot of uh, uh, what you call a lot of payloads as well like you can add a script as well okay even this is a html tag or like there are different uh, underlying tags as well okay so i'll be mentioning few like there are a lot and the most uh, popular thing is an anchor so i had seen a few attacks or few reports saying that how they attacked an end user of an application with the help of this anchor tag like they became a really super creative and uh, what they had done is like they uh, they had uh, a vision like an application uh, what you call they presented a url like uh, if you click on this you will get 
a free bitcoins or etc like that like since it is host it is like on the original application so most of the people get tempted and they might get scammed or fished anything like that okay so that is all your creativity like you can inject a beef accesses a browser exploitation framework uh tag or anything anything is absolutely fine so i'll show you a small tutorial okay this is not a big vulnerability to show for or anything like that okay but uh, you can uh, as always look for so i'm having my ovas broken web apps uh, thing here so so i'll go to my brave and i'll sh uh, show you that 192.168.19 192.132 so if you want to know how you can install this particular OS broken web app so what it is is like it is like it consists of all the OS vulnerable applications like from uh, uh, this particular like your uh, web goat okay dvw everything everything like that okay so we'll be looking on bwap now so you all know that bwap is like one of the most popular uh, thing so I'm setting the security to low because as I told you, like it is not always possible. So, so I'm going with the reflected only as I told you that there will be also stored same like cross site scripting only like you can do. So I'm setting the uh, security to low as well. So what you can see here is like you'll be getting your first name. So I'll go with my name and my second name is Sathvik. So let me click on go. So what you can see we are getting the things reflected here so let's look into the source code so view page source and once if you do a control f and you try to uh, search for you can see that there are no filters out there uh, that is being added to the uh, supplement that we are providing so what you can simply do is like uh, you can see let's add a simple simple thing only like if you want me to show uh, if you want me to show like a bit of uh, advanced stuff so i'll do that as well so no need to worry so and also guys i will try my best to uh, make two videos so i've been a bit busy but i'll really try my level best in order to uh, make good videos or more videos on bug monty tools or like in the cyber uh, cyber security domain so i'll hit on go now you can see that uh, like you can see our names are getting like the data that we sent is getting in the format like this so again you can see the view page source so view page source or inspect elements is one of the most important thing that you will need for this bug bounty and stuff like for testing a cross-site scripting html injection or anything like that okay so you can see it is getting directly there so and uh, that's it like you can set to the medium so i'll give a small hint to the medium as well so so i'll go directly with my tag so if you can see uh, you can see like uh, let me click on view page source and search for sai sathik once again you can see it is getting encoded so what you need to do is like you try to uh, encode this particular thing again okay you try to encode the payloads and you will get your thing done like that like as i told you this is as same as cross-site scripting but uh, you can uh, note this thing as well because sometimes as i told you in my case like you might not find the cross-site scripting all the time like uh, there might be some kind of uh, mechanism going on over there but there is a good chance of finding this uh, html injection bug as well okay so like knowing the one knowing about vulnerability doesn't make you any old or anything like that right so that's it and uh, coming to the like this is what same like that okay you can go get creative with your payloads you can uh, find out a lot of payloads out there so html injection payloads like you'll get a ton of payloads over there so like that you can go and stuff like that and you can also read few reports that are uh, available on hacker one or uh, buck crowd so even reading reports gives you a methodology on how to attack as well so and coming to the mitigation part same like this uh, injection will attacks like input sanitization is really really important okay so input sanitization is the only thing that you can go ahead okay like uh, like if you so whatever the client 
is sending to the server or whatever the thing that is getting reflected so the sanitization of the input that is provided should be done properly or else it can be HTML injection, it can be SQL uh, injection or it can be OS command injection. So sanitization of the input is always necessary. So that is it guys for this video. And uh, as I told you, like always read the scope. Okay. Sometimes this particular vulnerability is not recorded or not counted. So that's it guys for today's video. If you really like this video, make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff. And also if you have any suggestions for the new videos or any new topics to the new videos, you can do let them in the uh, comment section or in my discord server. I'll do check them out. And uh, this is it for today's, vi today's video guys. This is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.